announcing an installation of Dave Belder as your new priest in charge. Wonderful to see the journey that he's made, and it's great to see you, Ayan Hashem, and also Robin, and your parents, and your friends and family. Wonderful to welcome civic guests, friends from around the area, some of the other representatives, and really to say thank you to all of you who have been involved in sustaining this set of parishes over this reasonably long, well, very long, uh, vacancy period. But sometimes waiting is a good idea, because then you get a blessing. And that's what we're praying for today. So in particular, I'd like to thank, you see also the ministry team here, who have been particularly important, and also the wardens, the church councils, and the area dean, Caroline, and the clergy chapter, and other support folk in the area, clergy, leaders, RPAs, who have all been involved with you. So thank you very much for all that you've given. So we continue in worship on page 3 of the service booklet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope to which we will hold. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One, one God, God and Father of all. Those who have authority to do so have appointed Jacob to be the priest of these parishes. Is it your will that he should be licensed? It is. It is. Will you uphold him in his ministry? Yes. Will you constantly pray for him? Yes. Shall we have service and moments of quiet before prayer? Thanks be to God. 
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him, but they were not able to get near him because of the crowd. Someone told him, Your mother and brothers are standing outside, wanting to see you. Jesus replied, My mother and brothers are those who hear God's word and put it into practice. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. So what we 
had there was a new image of what human community could be like in the love of God, a spacious, open community, hospitable for anyone who wishes to seek God, to do God's way, and to hear what God is calling. And it's interesting that the word here for, as it were, the word of God, the little word logos in Greek, is the same word as used in chapter 1 of the fourth gospel, where we learn that the word of God is not simply rhetoric or a text, but is important in a person in the life story and what Jesus means. So as we listen to the word of God, what we're about is listening for Jesus who we believe is risen and with us and seeking to do this stuff in the sort of society we find ourselves in. And this is what we call Christ-like discipleship, which is following, if you like, Christ who is God disclosed to us. And so we see God as Christ-like himself. And what do we see in the story of Jesus? We see self-giving, servant-shaped, cross-shaped love, particularly attentive to those on the margins and those who are pushed around in society. And that is the challenge for priests with the people and with other ministry ministers to cultivate Christian communities which have this character as a witness to what God seeks for all people, a community of blessing which is not preoccupied with itself, that is concerned with the well-being of those among whom it's set. Now one of the great gifts, as I said earlier, is that Jake brings, not just Robin, not just the boys, Hi, Asher, but he also brings a PhD in exploring discipleship, which is really simply about how we follow Jesus today in this community. And this is Jesus' love in action, in company with other fellow travelers today, and fellow travellers from the past. And I'm going to just suggest it might be seen as becoming apprentices of Jesus, learning the ropes of walking with him from more experienced disciples who are around us here, but also who we have learned from in the past. It's about looking at life with our sight, honed by the story of Jesus, to see what is important to do in God's love in this world. And it's about being crafted into his followers, formed through the disciplines and practices of our gathering and worship, where we're taught how to confess our sins, so that when we are away from here, we do it as well. We are taught to listen for God in Scripture, so that we are disciplined and challenged to keep listening to God in life, where we reflect upon that Scripture with others, so that we can begin to see the sort of journey Christ wants us to be part of, where we learn to be people of prayer, People who can receive Christ in our lives through the sacraments, and those who are challenged to go out and serve God in the light of that story. So as you embark together on this next stage of your journey in this area, with and into God as Jesus' people, the challenge is to be open to all who wish to hear his word and do it, and I pray that the Lord will help you to be more faithful followers and disciples, sharing in this hospitable common life which we call the church at the best, which is characterized by that very love of Jesus that we celebrate on this occasion. And if you're like that, don't be surprised that people would want to come and join you, as they did in the earliest Christian communities, because there is a pearl of great price, something so precious that many have been willing to give all of their lives to its service. And that is, in some sense, Jay, what you are also a sign of.
the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons. Okay? In the declaration you are about to make, will you affirm your loyalty to this inheritance of faith as your inspiration and guidance under God in bringing the grace and truth of Christ to this generation and making him known to those in your care? I, Jacob John Belner, Clark in Holy Orders, do so affirm and accordingly declare my belief in the faith which is revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds and to which the historic formularies of the Church of England bear witness. And in public prayer and administration of the sacraments, I will use only the forms of service which are authorized or allowed by canon. I, Jacob John Belder, Clark in Holy Orders, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I, Jacob John Belder, Clark in Holy Orders, do swear by Almighty God that I will pay true and canonical obedience to the Lord Archbishop of York and his successors in all things lawful and honest. So help me God.
Jake, you have been licensed as Prince of this benefice with its responsibilities and resources for ministry. The Lord preserve your going out and your coming in, now and always. Amen. Jake, I set you in the stall of the priest of this parish. May God bless you in your ministry among the people of this parish and all the parishes in these benefices. Follow the example of the Good Shepherd, lead with courage and guide with love. Keep watch over the whole flock among whom the Holy Spirit has appointed you. Proclaim the gospel, restore the lost. Encourage the faithful and build up the body of Christ. Amen. Please do be seated, and I think the Arab lady is going to offer a welcome. <laughs> Perhaps only from the eyes up. From the churches in the Poplings group, we have Chris Sukup from Burnley, Michael Francis from Newport, Sue Dale from Huggett, John Fletcher from Lonsborough, Robert Burton from Millington, Yvonne Coverdale from Lindbergham, Frida Bailey from Ship. And from the town, we have Mayor Dean Hodgson from Poplington Town Council, the Reverend Bill Merrington from Poplington School, Gareth Davis from Moldgate School, and representing Poplington Churches together, we have the Reverend Neville Simpson, Simpson from Poplington Methodist Church, Alan Speedman from Poplington Group Fellowship, and Father James Blankensop from Puff. Things in the Roman Catholic Church. Well, I do thank you for that welcome. It's an absolute delight to be here uh, to begin this next chapter of our. Journey together, uh, serving God in this place and in these communities. As far as I'm aware, the only notice I'm required to give is about this coming Sunday's service, which will be a benefit wide service of Holy Communion held here at All Saints uh, this Sunday, the 27th of September at 10.45 a.m. I hope to see you all there.
So let us pray. Holy God and Father, as we embark tonight on a new journey in this group of churches, we thank you for your faithfulness to us. We thank you for calling us to be your people in these places and filling us with your spirit. Lord, lead and guide us by that same spirit that we might know the wonder and the joy of following Jesus and lead others into this life and this love. But Father, we sit here tonight also in the midst of great uncertainty. So many in our communities concerned again about what another lockdown might mean for our common life. So we pray especially for those who are already lonely and isolated, those cut off from family and friends. Help us as we look forward to find continued means of reaching out to and supporting our communities, that we might bring the comfort and the hope of Christ to those who need it most. Lord, as we consider our own situation, we are mindful of so many other parts of the world where the situation is even more out of control. We pray for patient wisdom for all governments and leaders, for your blessing on the work of scientists, medical and health workers, and all those who are caring for others. Above all, Lord, we plead for your mercy, that you would grant healing to our hurting world. For now, Father, we watch and wait for the coming of your kingdom. We pray that you might make us more like Jesus, so that we might make known his goodness and love in the places you have called us to serve. Grant us together as a group of churches that vision of your purposes, that through our mission and ministry, many more around us might find forgiveness of sins and new life in Christ. May we together reflect your love, goodness, and beauty for the sake of the world. Eternal God, the light of the minds that know you, the joy of the hearts that love you, and the strength of the wills that serve you, grant us so to know you that we may truly love you, and so to love you that we may fully serve you, whose service is a perfect freedom. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name, In the name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.